Okay, we are live. I'm going to see, hopefully it'll pop up and let us know like if anyone is here and if anyone is currently here and I can't see you, please let us know in the comments, say hey, say what's up. Um, the beginning of live streams is always really awkward <laughs> <laughs> because there's always this moment of like, Am mm. I going to be sitting? At least I'm with a, you. Yeah, so, so we can not to each other. here by myself. It's not an empty room. Because <laughs> right? oh, that's always so awkward. I'm like, ooh, if people aren't going to show up. <laughs> hey, it's so good to see you. But usually my rider dies. Usually they uh. come through. And so I'm seeing people will start trickling in. <laughs> um, so while we wait, like I don't, I know they say that you shouldn't wait to start or whatever, like lives, but I don't like to repeat myself. <laughs> I feel you. Maybe we could have like a a little mini like yeah. pre-show for, yes. for five I like minutes. That idea, <laughs> right? Hi, hi. Okay, Hello. we are doing oh, well. How are you? You know, like we're very excited. I mean, I'm speaking for the both of us. Um, Jamila <laughs> is I'm you seem excited. I I'm excited. So. <laughs> I'm hype. I'm so hype. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you know what? There's it looks like there's at least five people in here. I think we're good to start. And anybody who pops in at this point, y'all are just gonna have to <laughs> <laughs> context clues. <laughs> um, so I am super excited. First of all, hey, y'all. Welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. Um, I'm going to start saying my name in the beginning now because I just realized that for however many years I have not been <laughs> saying my name. So my name is Aisha Soleil, okay? And I am here today with someone that I look up to. <laughs> oh so this is uh, the amazing comics creator and publisher Jamila and is it it's Rouser right yeah yes okay so Jamila like Bowser. Rouser. <laughs> yes yes we love it so uh, thank you so, so much you. um oh hey Gary okay we it's it's kind of just going to be a general chat when we get to the manga part um but we are definitely going to be talking about Jamila's own works um like I mentioned she oops trying to kill myself right now <laughs> just like, let me move this um so like i said she does create um and she also is a publisher this is i'm excuse the struggle right now um and she actually has a um a comic that it's is it out now or is it on pre-order now it's uh, the digital is out now the, the digital and then the print out comes now. out and like I'll actually get them next week. So Ooh, it'll probably exciting. come out like within two weeks. Yeah. Exciting. So like the title, <laughs> like the thumbnail says, we'll be talking about Otakisha, but also we're going to, you know, I have some of her other works that I'm going to also, you know, mention and we'll do all of that jazz. But um, <laughs> we are going to talk about manga as well. And it'll just be like a, a kind of general chat. If y'all have any questions or like want to chime in, um, at that point, or even during this discussion, feel free. If any of y'all have read Otakisha, like, let me know. <laughs> you know Happen to like, like grab it. I know that um, a lot of my other like reviewer friends have been talking about it lately. Oh, snap. Yeah. What? So, um, actually, one of my friends, so she had done a review for, I think for But Why, though, um, mm. and I'm also friends with them. <laughs> so it's like all these people that I like I know, and so I messaged her, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to tell you, oh. Jamila's coming on my channel. Oh, my God. Like, ah. And so we were like kind of geeking out about that. Yeah. Um, Aw. Yeah. That's so, so sweet. <laughs> Um, so that being said, we'll just kind of uh, start by having you introduce yourself to the, you know, to the the audience. Um, I just, you know, tell tell them a little bit about yourself and about your publishing company. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm Jamila. Um, so I've been in the like geek space for a while. Um, I used to have a blog back in the day, um, and that kind of got me started. It, 
or like I don't know. It was the the, the origin story of my like mm-hmm. journey. Um, <laughs> and uh, through that, I eventually created this um, meetup group called Geek Girl Brunch, which is an international meetup group for women and non-binary folks uh, mm. to meet up over brunch. And uh, I'm not running it anymore, but I did help co-found it. Um, and then later on, I um, I also uh, worked on this. Um, blog straight out of Gotham with Mm. my boyfriend um but I created it and it's like I like to show the like connections between hip-hop culture and geek culture so it was like Mm. about um like highlighting the different like geeky lyrics and stuff that you would um you would hear that always made me very happy (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so that was a lot of fun um Mm. and then I finally got the courage to start writing comics and a big reason for that is Jose manga mm-hmm. uh, definitely manga but def- like Jose manga to be even more specific which we will definitely talk about yes because yes, yes. <laughs> y'all can't stop me from talking about it. um yeah and so the first one I did was wash day mm-hmm. which I did a kickstarter for and Robin Smith's the artist um she's in Nubia and we also um are working on a graphic novel version of Wash Day Diaries, uh, or mm-hmm. a Wash Day called Wash Day Diaries. And that's um, coming out through Chronicle Books in May next year. So that'll be my first like big girl book. <laughs> so I'm really excited. It's so beautiful. Um, I mean, yeah. um, I'm excited because like I do have. <laughs> Robin is like, yo, the pages are ridiculous. Like so the good. art is so incredible. So do you mind if I? Oh, go ahead. Show a little bit, mm-hmm. just, you know, just a little bit, just to give the people. Yeah, so this just... is wash day. Oh, so good. Can we, can we talk about the hair texture? Listen. Um, because that's something that is very lacking. In, and you know what? Like, I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody or make Let's do shame it. anyone, but it's just. Let's do it. <laughs> it is so, like, I'm so tired of seeing clearly like black characters mm-hmm. with that it's it's you know okay we've all been relaxed at some point okay and we have the the option to straighten our hair but can we texture? can we switch it up can, can we, we get we, some can we get some coils can we, some curls yes, right and can we actually like, show them on. can we and can we it's not too just hard have for them. Her, right it's and I'm not even gonna. We it's not even, even too hard. They just don't want to put the energy. They don't want to put the effort into it, and you know, drawing it. They can draw all kind. You know. My girl Robin, she loves we drawing love- hair too. So I'm like, oh. great, because there's a lot of like, hair, oh hair gosh. stuff going on. <laughs> yes, like I honestly, I love, it. but also I, I do love the fact that it's like hair is a big part of it. But I, I love slice of. Life. I love like, slice of life. Um, get, again, it goes back into the Jose thing because mm-hmm. slice of life, Jose, <laughs> inject it, inject it into my veins. Like I just, mm-hmm. ooh, okay. Oh. That's something that we can definitely. Yes. Um, oh, that's great. Cause I got yeah. a new job related to Kickstarter. So oh. I can mention that too. Oh, okay. Well, um, keep, yeah. Um, so on. I just interrupted you, but if you would like to, <laughs> oh um, for sure, yeah. If you would like to, let's see. If we talked about we talked about wash day. Oh, continuing on with your, um, you know, your list of, <laughs> of things <laughs> of things things that I've done. I've done too much. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, first, uh, I won't give a summary for all the, or a blurb for all of the comics okay, that I've written, because yeah. that's too much. But since we did talk about Watch Day, yeah. it's a slice of life um, comic that takes place in the Bronx. And you basically just watch this girl go through her Watch Day routine, but you also see her interact with her roommate mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, the gentrification going on in her neighborhood. Um, it's super slice of life. Right. Very chill vibes, but also yes. like super black girl super like um yes. and just lots of hair and process stuff so that was my first comic mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. and then i've done a lot of short ones since then and then my first one is the first graphic novel mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's not technically a graphic novel since it's a collection of short stories but it's a big it's a big girl so yeah. um you could buy it in like a barnes and nobles kind of thing <laughs> oh so exciting 
Oh, and then with the start of Wash Day, um, mm. I started Black Jose Press, which mm -hmm. is my publishing company. And so I love Jose manga so much, which is um, manga for like adult women mm -hmm. or like older teens. I just was like obsessed. Like I had not really seen a lot of those kinds of comics over here in like right. the Western comics. So I was like devouring it. I was like, yes, like mature romance. We got sex, we got naked yeah. bodies, we got consequences. <laughs> like, right. it's okay. getting real. Yes. <laughs> the consequences for the actions. Listen. Like, can we? <laughs> Whew, it was, I was related in a way I didn't want to relate. Like, it was <laughs> amazing. And I was like, yes. I want to do this but like for black girls. Um, so yeah. that's what I'm doing. Yes. And so with Black Jose Press, I also wanted to help publish other people's stuff because I just want more of those kinds of comics in like created, like by us and for us. Um, mm -hmm. So we're focusing on publishing uh, work by uh, black and brown or people of color and right. non-binary people of color. Yes. Um, but, oh yeah, that, like, that's just what I'm focused on. Yeah, um, which I personally love because that's those are all the things that I stand for. <laughs> so it's, it's perfect. And also, mm -hmm. I, I will say, and I've never, t well, I think I might have mentioned this to my friend Jackie, um, which I, you probably know Jackie. Um, yes. yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I, yelling. <laughs> you're fine. So like, I remember, this is like a, this is like years ago. Um, I was so like inspired. This is so embarrassing. I was very inspired by you. What? And so at one point I was like, maybe I was like, maybe I want to write like a, my own comic. And I was like, Let's maybe go, girl. <laughs> Cause like Let's I can't go. I was like, but I can't draw, but I had this idea in Neither. my head. And I was like, I don't know. She's like, oh my gosh, you should you should yes, write yes, it. You yes, should do yes. it. And I was like, I don't know. Maybe one of these days. But we'll you talk. inspired me. Like we will talk. Okay, Thank well, you. <laughs> <laughs> I just mentioned that to let you know that it was very Thank like, you. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Like, I can like this yes. is something that like just regular like we're normal people that you <laughs> just like <laughs> you know, and like someone who looks, you know, like someone who looks like I don't know, oh just it was inspiring. Okay. <laughs> Thank so. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that there's questions coming in. I you. know. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Um, so, you know, yeah. What, you know what? Okay. I meant to put in the, the, in the description box, all the information. And I just realized that I forgot to do that. <laughs> so I am absolutely going to put links in the description box to um black jose press like the website and all of that jazz so that y'all can go and check it out and really like get to see like what all the works are there um i do have this as well yeah <laughs> you know and it's very i mean like there's listen there's great stuff. Um, Thank you. <laughs> if you, is there any anything in particular that you wanted to mention before we kind of get into O Takesha? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so O Takesha, um, I will go ahead and let you, you know, like give the description because I am terrible at that. <laughs> And then we'll go from there because I have I have thoughts I have things <laughs> I have things yes. to say. So. I have like the proof, the hard proof here with me. I can hold it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks so good. Yeah, I'm a, so this I'm a is <laughs> this is Ode to Keisha. Let me see. This isn't the same paper that mm -hmm. it's going to be printed on. It's not going to be as shiny, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at how cute Keisha so is. Cute. So, oh, to Keisha, it's a short, like, 18-page comic that I created with Trinidad Escobar, this mm -hmm. amazing Filipina um, artist who I'm publishing a collection of her erotic comics <gasps> next year. It's going to be oh. my biggest book that Black Chelsea Press has published. So okay. good. Oh, yeah, queer. I don't know if I threw that in there. Oh, but Yeah, it's, well. gay, it's, gay, it's gay sex. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. I can't wait. So yeah, that's next year, early next year. Um, so yeah, um, it is about, it's my first auto bio comic. Uh, mm -hmm. Auto bio scares me a lot because it just seems extra personal, Ooh. even though a lot of my stories are 
like inspired by life. It's just not like this is for real my life. Um, even though it's like me in a kindergarten, it's not like a very embarrassing story or anything. Yeah. But um, I my mom was in the Air Force, so I lived like all over the world. And when I was in kindergarten, I was in Holland and I was going to elementary school. I was the only black girl there. And I remember this memory of um, one of my first friends, Keisha. Um, and I think specifically because I was when she came into the class, I was no longer the only black girl. And that made a huge difference for me in a way that now that I'm older, I'm looking back at it and I'm like, oh, wow, like these are all of the ways I was affected by like the racism that I was seeing in my class, even though I didn't know the name for it or what it was mm -hmm. called or why it was happening. But it was just stuff that made me uncomfortable. And I remember um, feeling really safe when she got there, but also feeling very protective. Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, what, how old are you in kindergarten? Like five or something? Like, yeah, five, six, depending on. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a little baby. Like, and I was just like, I must protect black women, black girls. <laughs> and not, not much has changed. Um, but it was really like, it was a really like good experience to like write this and go through this mm -hmm. sort of memory, kind of unpacking it um, and what what it like, how it affected me throughout the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, Cause I love like friendships. Listen, I am so like <laughs> important, especially friendships yeah. with. So, okay. So when I read it, like, obviously I didn't live in like Holland or I was, you know, I, I grew up in Oklahoma, um, but it may as well be the same listen, place because listen. it is so mm. like there, we, there are black folks here but you have to be in very specific areas and those are not the areas that I grew mm -hmm. up in right mm -hmm. and so I also had that experience of being like one of very few or the only mm. you know black girl um and I have I have two younger brothers so it was like I was often the only black girl um most of the time and <laughs> you know I I also kind of had that moment of just like I don't know how to quite feel about it until someone else. Now for me, it was in fourth grade and there was, she wasn't black. She was actually, she was Mexican and like, um, and moved like from like Mexico, like, oh, like, wow. like from Mexico. And um, we became best friends. Her name was Anna, but she was like around the same, you know, skin yeah. tone as me. And so like people, they didn't, it, we were both brown, so people were mm -hmm. like, oh, you're both brown, whatever. Yeah. Um, but we did, although, you know, with me being black and her being Mexican, like, there were some cultural differences, but we both kind of bonded around being oh, the yeah. only brown kids, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big reason why Spanish was a big thing for me, because I spent oh, a lot of time gosh, with yeah. her family. Yeah. So, like, Aww. so that was, like, a big thing, oh, like, for so me. Sweet. I know. Like, she, to this day, I, I think Shout about out Anna. Right. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, so I did eventually, like as I got older, I, you know, there, we had more like black kids kind of in and out of the schools. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm from Oklahoma and like, sometimes we'd get kids from the city, from Oklahoma city mm. that would get in trouble and have to come and live with their grandmama. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they would the for a little bit, you know, like, um, and then I was always like, Oh, look at like, Ooh, you're from the city. And <laughs> also, like, ugh, I was one of those. But and then I also went Where are we to, all? I mean, right? come on. Um, I also went to the black church because that was like the place where I could go to be around other black people besides mm -hmm. family. So, but it was just like trying to navigate that, like being the only black person often, even when I went to college, mm. like I was often the only black person girl in like certain circles mm. even when there were other black people because I wasn't interested in like certain things that mm -hmm. you know I was expected to be interested in just all that stuff yeah so as I was reading Ode to Keisha I was like Aww. oh I know this feel like Aww. I remember being a little kid and mm -hmm. just kind of being like I feel different, but I don't know why I feel yeah. different until feel othered right until Little Jimmy or whatever his name was, that be coloring black people. With Listen, yo, I remember that vividly. I'm like, boy, why are you drawing black people 
purple. The way that you remember, like when you look back and you think about all of the microaggressions and like just the racist things that you deal mm -hmm. with, even as a kid that you don't, at the time you, you internalize it, but yeah. you don't know what it is until later. And you're like, oh, well, that's why I kind of expect <laughs> your most white people to treat me a certain way mm -hmm. or because, or I shouldn't even say just white people, like non-black you know, often, but mostly white. And those of y'all who watch in, y'all know, don't argue with me. <laughs> don't fight me. <laughs> but yeah, it's, ugh, I really resonated with that. But then also, you know, I have two children. Now, my kids are biracial. Um, and, but like in this town, you black is black. Like yeah. they, black is black. You don't get yeah. to identify as biracial yeah. here because um, I'm in the South as well. So it's mm, like, mm -hmm. you're black. And I will never forget when actually my oldest, when he was in kindergarten or mm -hmm. in that age range, kindergarten, first grade, he came home um, and he was like, I, he was like upset. And he was like, I wish that I was white like my friends. Mm. And I was like, Mm -mm. Mm. And at that moment, like for one, I felt like wow. awful because I was like, it's my yeah. fault that he's not white. That's how I internalized it at that time. Mm. And then that was the moment when I was like radicalized from that point on. I was my in-laws like didn't see like they were kind of like a little scared because I oh, was wow. like, mm. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I went, I went, yeah. you know, what, but you know, sometimes you gotta go way far. Mm -hmm. to get to a balance I'm out of yeah. balance now but at the time I was like you know what we're not gonna do this my kid is not like my children are, gonna, are not going to be ashamed of their blackness mm -hmm. but it opened my eyes up to um the fact that just racism is still like it's just you know it's still here yeah it's you know and things that I dealt with as a kid my kids have had to deal with and it's yeah. like unfortunate yeah um i hate that it's a legacy that we seem to have to it's not even our legacy let me not put that on us that's true let me not put that on us <laughs> uh, but it is something that we have had to deal with from like really young ages um and so seeing it in that form seeing it like drawn so beautifully seeing these little kids like their faces their facial expressions the way they were i don't know if it was supposed to be like this look of kind of like side eye like to it each was. Other. Like, <laughs> For sure. i was like that's the black girl face like just the mm, you mm, see that like, over there mm, little jimmy over there with his purple crown <laughs> his brown crown right here i love it i love <laughs> it and it is short but there's so you tell so much like there's Thank so you. much feeling um, it felt so complete. Like I, it was amazing. You gave Thank us like, you. this oh my gosh. <laughs> of your life, and it just felt like I just I, it was so relatable. And I definitely feel like a lot of, especially uh, those of us Black folks who did grow up or at least had experiences, um, you know, in very not Black <laughs> spaces, and how that can stick with you even mm -hmm. you know if it was only for a little bit when you were a kid you yeah. kind of internalize the not kind of you definitely internalize those things yeah um, and just looking back on that man i imagine that was kind of a, that like you said it was an interesting you know experience yeah. to to look back Ugh. it yeah, it started as a essay um mm -hmm. like i wrote it my friend um who lives in Amsterdam works for a Amsterdam press and they do these like month or these quarterly, I think quarterly, um, mm. curation box of like art and writing and oh. prose and stuff like that. And so she invited me to submit something for it. And I was like, Oh, okay. Like, let me not do a comic for once. But, you know, <laughs> lo and behold. Um, and so, <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, and there was a prompt, mm. um, for it, which was very abstract, but it was like, um, in general, it was like, what do you see in the margins? Like, what do you, when you're looking back at something, like, what do you see in the subtext? Like, what mm -hmm. do you see in the margins of that memory or thing or whatever? Mm -hmm. So since 
this was an Amsterdam based press, I was like, oh, like this one memory <laughs> was one very vivid memory that I have, like from, you know, that age took mm -hmm. place in that country. So, um, so I started as an essay and then I just was like, nah, this needs to be a comic, but I always mm -hmm. feel that way anyway, which is, <laughs> so I was just like, we're going to make this a comic. Let me hit yeah. up to the dad and see if she's down. Um, and yeah, so that's how it became, um, yeah, that's how it became it is, a comic. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I mean, I, as an essay, it would have been beautiful as well, but I, I think as a comic, it just... <laughs> Again, like the way that the art plays with the story, like yeah. it just plays so well and it really paints that picture. I wanted to mention the scene with that creepy, like, what is, what do they call the swat of heat? Yeah, I don't like, I've heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it's this black it's, face. Oh, I can't imagine. Um, Christmas. Christmas, like, per person, yeah, whatever. It's, a, it's, it's like a white person with black with, face. Yes. Maybe like coal or something. Shouldn't something like, it? yeah. Anyway, it's racist as fuck. Yes, and it is. Like growing up and it's still out there. Like it'd be Sinterklaas and it'd be his little racist swat of pee Sambo so, looking thing. And yes. it's just like, this is, this is not I like, just, okay, right? No, I'm trying to like, just thinking of how like as a small child you're sitting there and you're just like they are out there in these streets for christmas with blackface like it is a celebration <laughs> still to this day to i think there's day. a lot more pushback mm -hmm. um people have like from what i've heard like especially like black um dutch folks have been a lot mm -hmm. more like um like talking about it yes. and this is fucked up please stop right which is um, how i found out about it was yeah oh okay that's good <laughs> so yeah like, the heck is this it, yeah. it just I, that scene though like just that image i was like wow that is such i feel like so many of us though have had some like some sort of of like situation like that where we've just mm -hmm. been in an awkward situation that's it's blatantly racist and we're just sitting there uncomfortably like what what do you what do you do yeah. <laughs> what do you do in this situation yeah. um i mean i think about all the halloweens where you know kids have come to school you know people come to school oh my God. with their fake afros or the fake lock like the dreadlock hats and just and it just i hate it I hate it so much and I so that it. scene definitely <laughs> like brought i was like ooh, this is <sighs> <laughs> wow it, <laughs> the fact that so many of us have like almost the same experience it's so sad but I it's feel so like sad. I think like looking back at it too I was like this is not a unique situation mm -hmm. I know that's for sure and like that was one of the reasons why I wanted to share it because I knew yeah. it was something other folks had been through uh but it's also like like memories from childhood, there's like a couple that stick in my head and like Keisha is up in there. Like mm -hmm. yeah. this specific Keisha memories are there. Um, even though I like lost contact with her after yeah. I moved, of course, like this is, I was a little girl, also, right. no social or whatever. Um, but I have been able to get in contact with one of my other best friends from uh, elementary, because I ended up moving to Hawaii, like mm -hmm. after Holland's and then like my best friend there uh shout out to asia like Aww. my other black girlfriend like we were just two peas in a pod like and i ended up meeting up with her later in life so it was really exciting Aww, i love that see yeah. <laughs> I, just a happy ending shout out to it. keisha yeah keisha shout out, if you're yes, out there yes shout out to everybody's keisha shout out to yes, everybody i little, love that know, like, oh my god i feel like we all have a keisha we do and we're all so. somebody's keisha too and we're all somebody's keisha I've definitely been somebody's Keisha. So I, ugh, it's just like bringing back so many memories <laughs> and like, like good memories. I, I love that. Um, so, okay. I do want to say, please y'all go get Ode to Keisha. Like it's, it's great. Get the, get it digitally and also physically do both because it's worth it. Um, I do want to go through um, and see if you want to, 
answer any of these questions specifically oh, yeah. about um yeah like, like the kickstarter. kickstarter yeah and then we'll talk about manga <laughs> Um, touch upon Kickstarter and crowdfunding platforms that comic creatives have used to their advantage. Yes. So my new gig is I am the uh, comics outreach consultant for Kickstarter. Um, I started oh. early. I started this month. Um, the Congratulations. Of this month. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's been really exciting and part of my comic strength. Like this, they, they're not paying me to like say any of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so this isn't like, <laughs> this is the truth. It's okay. um, <laughs> but like part of the reason why I got into comics or I thought I could get into comics was because of Kickstarter and seeing mm -hmm. how many, especially like marginalized folks were having a lot of success in, on Kickstarter with mm -hmm. their comics. And um, and because I had been in the like geek space for a while, I was like, all right, like people know me. I'm out here at these conventions, mm -hmm. like <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm not starting from zero. And so I felt like I would be able to fulfill a campaign, and it wasn't going to be like that much money anyway. But and the other reason was because I was like, I want to make the comics the way I want to make them. Mm -hmm. I feel like me trying to pitch wash day to a publisher is going to be like, no girl, not interested. And, or they want me to like, I don't know, make it more palatable for a white audience. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not doing those things. So <laughs> I was like, I'm going to just do it myself. And that was another reason why Kickstarter um, was a really great option for me. And mm -hmm. um, it's like, it's been really incredible just how, much great how many great comics come out from kickstarter yes. like we have publishers like small publishers big bigger publishers mm -hmm. are using it like iron circus comics uh, from spike trotman is like like whole like funding financial thing is tied up into right. like kickstarter but they do so incredibly well like six figures every campaign and everybody's not going to get six figures i was not getting right. no Nothing like that. <laughs> but um, what Kickstarter helped me do was be able to pay for the printing of the comic. Mm -hmm. um, there are other creators, like I'm a writer, so I would pay the artists up front and then pay for the printing. But some folks couldn't. I mean, I don't know if I could do that nowadays. <laughs> but back then, I had a, a job when I was taken. <laughs> and um, so I was able to do that because you got to pay your artists. Um, and so but if you don't have the funds for that, then people will start a Kickstarter to raise funds for the art yes. and the printing. You know, it'll take longer for you to get the reward, but, you know, at least you're helping this person. You know, it's basically like a pre-order mm -hmm. situation. Um, so it's been really great. Like, I would not have been able to um, do comics right. um, without it. And so, especially because a lot of stories I want to tell, I don't really see um, out there from mm -hmm. larger publishers and I'm not like a big two kind of girl as far as like writing for them. Mm -hmm. So that's not an option for me. <laughs> right. Yeah. I get that though. I like that you mentioned that. I mean, I, a lot of my um, non manga comics have been like Kickstarter, th you know, <laughs> things that I've supported. Mm -hmm. um, and I have like several in mind, like that are like sitting on my shelf. Um, and so I agree, like Kickstarter is great for like the smaller, you know, indie, indie like it just also, if you want to get more black queer stuff. Yo, so like, much queer stuff. So much queer so stuff. Much queer stuff. Like, it's amazing. Like all the comics, I feel like half of the comics I back are like some queer gay. anthology. It's like <laughs> gay, gay shit. I mean, I love you it. know, like, I, 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 I like to say from, from myself, like tends to like, like, and my gay ass is like, yeah, give me the gay one. It's like, give it to me. Um, it's so awesome. And like, it's interesting because like, although you'll see Kickstarter campaigns that are doing like numbers, mm -hmm. you can literally like, I could have did a Kickstarter for Ot Keisha, but I, mm -hmm. this kind of wasn't a planned comic because I was planning on writing an essay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm doing a Kickstarter for Arrive um, in my hands next year. So um, 
but like it could be a floppy it could be a big graphic novel mm -hmm. like it it really doesn't matter your goal could be two thousand dollars or it could be twenty thousand yeah. dollars like nothing is too small um right especially and like i think for f people who want to start writing comics too like this writing shorter comics biggest advice i can give is like start short right. <laughs> because you can finish it <laughs> and it's cheaper to yeah. you know to do so which really goes well with oh this nice next question from story oh, shelves yeah. yeah so um with wash day diaries it is a collection of five short stories uh, so the way i wrote the stories was similar to how I've been writing most of my like stories. Cause they're all, they've all been like one shots. Like mm -hmm. wash day was, and is a one shot, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, one and done, that's it. But then Chronicle was like, Hey, we kind of like this. I'm like, mm. yes, girl. yes. <laughs> like I'll make it work. Um, and so it's a group of um, four friends and it like goes through their different wash days mm -hmm. and it's like different kind of hair situations. <laughs> and like you know drama mm -hmm. whatever all that kind of stuff so i'm really excited um so yeah when i was working on those stories together it um uh, like the process is really similar but it was just um a lot more work <laughs> mm. you, know, you have to like because there are certain things that were connected in the stories like very small but certain things that were connected so i had to make sure like i had everything drafted I knew like the stories for the most mm -hmm. part uh, before I started writing them because I wanted to make sure like all the connections were in place. Mm -hmm. um, but working and then working for like a bigger publisher too is just like, oh my gosh, way more help. Like, oh, I'm like, sure. like distribution is just like a, a thing that they do. Mm -hmm. um, but even like they've been um, helping with like the art and like, mm -hmm. like the graphics team has been really involved with us, which has been really awesome. Um, so yeah, it just takes a lot, it takes a long time. It takes a very long time. Yeah. A lot, there's a lot of hurry up and wait type stuff. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like right now, um, I'm actually starting to brainstorm my first, I guess, true, like long comic, like long graphic mm -hmm. novel, um, that I want to pitch. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if they say no, then I'm going to Kickstarter. <laughs> right. So... And I will be <laughs> on Kickstarter. <laughs> So now I'm planning that out. And so that has been an interesting like process too. Mm -hmm. um, like just think about how I want the story to to flow and the different chapters to connect, like all that kind of stuff has mm -hmm. been, um, it takes a lot more in the beginning phase than it does um, in the brainstorming phase. Right. Um, just making sure everything works. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I mean, it's, it's storytelling. Um but you kind of have to make sure that it also works with <laughs> the pictures yeah. that you're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like creative, yeah. but also like there's a lot of structure, structure and like organization, yeah. especially mm -hmm. like with the panel layout. Like yes. I really love it. Cause I'm a very creative person, but I also mm -hmm. love structure and organization. And so I get to do both of those things. Um, yes. It's like, like the perfect sort of writing for me. Right. Um, yeah. A novel? Mm, I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't have those <laughs> kinds of skills. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, that was perfect. I just want to say, like, that was, I love how, like, I feel like the spirit, the universe, whatever, really put those questions in a right? way that, like, I was I impressed. Out. I was like, wow, am I good at this? Am I good at this interview? Like, am I good at this? Yes. Because yes. Look at this. Like, this is smooth. And I just ruined it by pointing that out, but I don't care. No. Really what? I love how that went. Yes. Um, so <laughs> let's talk about, I think it's time. And let me remind y'all, please pick up Ode to Keisha and keep an eye out for, for Wash Day Diaries. And again, I'm going to have all the stuff in the description description box I promise I will sit down and do that tonight like I'm not gonna let my brain like wander and <laughs> do other things um so let's talk manga like because that's what I, think. I got a little yes, stack but next I'm to me. so excited um I'm gonna scroll <laughs> back up because I think Dil or no Sean okay so Shauna had asked if we have oh any God. recommendations now I will say for me personally 
Um, <sighs> recommendations are hard because like, if I don't know, like, what you mm -hmm. like as you know i because i read a, across the board a lot of weird stuff too and so <laughs> i don't like to just like randomly recommend things to people because i might you might get triggered <laughs> or so you see something Yo, you see. i mean for right real. um but i will say that um hmm if i'm going if if there was one series that i would say that I do believe everyone should like I will tell everyone to read I don't care if you like the genre or not just to tell people to read it um <laughs> I'm gonna have to say um Oku by um Fumi Yoshinaga I'm gonna try to take it down without ruining it but so Ooh, this, I have that on my list oh my gosh okay so it's one. technically a shoujo although Fumi Yoshinaga tends to write a lot more like Jose, yeah. also like BL. Um, so this is a, we're, we're gonna, hmm, this is historical fiction, very fictional. And there is, um, it's kind of hard, you know, <laughs> it, it is so good it is set in like edo period japan um but there's some like gender bending so instead of the rulers like the tok what is it tokugawa being male they are women for a reason there's like this um sickness that ended up killing off a lot of the men mm -hmm. and so women had to kind of like the roles were switched and men were kind of treated like the way that women were often treated previously where they were like pampered and married off and all of these things, you know, um, it's just a very interesting look of like, what if, what if it had been ruled by women and what if this happened? And it's, it's just, there's so much like humor and drama, betrayal, Ooh. <laughs> just political intrigue. It's everything. Art. Actually, let me show. Okay. The art absolutely stunning now i will say that one thing that people might say is a downside is that there is a lot of um text like it is very mm. worthy um and also it is like the trans like the the, the translation like because it's spoken in very like old uh. um, like language or whatever and so it's kind of weird to read sometimes You're, it's a lot of like um hats and <laughs> like doths and stuff like that but the art absolutely gorgeous um i'm just i'm a fumi yoshinaga stan and i recommend it it is currently i think 17 18 volumes i think it might be ending relatively soon ish 19 20 volumes something like that but i recommend that um like just off the bat like i don't like I love it so much. So, Jamila, do you have any, like, specific, like, I guess, oh it, however many you want, but. <laughs> I have so many, but I'll mm -hmm. just do one. Um, I have to, it has to go to Nana, yo. My girl. Mm -hmm, Ayazawa's mm -hmm. Nana. Like, and it's a hard recommendation because it's unfinished. It's <laughs> um but it's so good and mm. this really like changed the game for me like like when i read this manga it was like shit changed like yeah the game. You know, it's, um, yeah and yeah it's about two friends nana and nana um, aka hachi and it just had that like the complicated messy relationship drama <laughs> the look a very close friendship maybe a little more which i love mm -hmm. so and it's it's just like the like ayazawa's art like style is just so beautiful mm -hmm. so it is really good like iconic classic mm -hmm. gotta gotta mm -hmm. do it yes. i'm so <laughs> glad you mentioned that because um so i also i do love nana now it's funny because i i own it off uh digitally um i first actually did I do? Anyways, I first um, read it 
in the shoujo beat magazine like i read like the you know like just the yeah. like a chapter or whatever and i was like ooh i like this is something so like because it was different from mm -hmm. the, like shoujo stuff that i was reading because i was an adult when i started reading manga anyway and i was like oh wait there's stuff uh, for adult people like you know and so I, it was one of those things where I wanted to read it, but at the time I was poor <laughs> and so I, I couldn't really uh, keep reading it. So now I have it all digitally and I need to sit down and read the whole thing. But I did watch the anime back in the day mm -hmm. and that's what really I was like, okay, I need the manga um, but I still need to sit down and read the whole thing. I've been kind of putting it off because I know it is it is incomplete and I'm just like do I want yeah. to do that to myself? But I'm going to. So, <laughs> yeah. The um, for those who don't know, uh, the creator got into an accident or was sick, mm -hmm. um, and was not able to like you know create um, not anymore. But they have yeah. not. It's been a while, but I don't know if they still have like a lot of pain from that. I'm not. It's a lot right. of mystery. But yeah. since then, we haven't gotten anything. Um, right. And I don't the, know faint hope but yeah you know. i mean gosh so um oh hey chris uh yes you have to sir if you have not please just please read it like it's so good <laughs> i just i can't i can't so ooh, okay um we can make this about manga um let's do it especially jose because i have a couple Heck yeah. of favorite jose um, artists so okay the first one i'm going to mention um oh gosh do i want to go and grab it uh, no i don't want to go grab it but erica <laughs> erica sakurazawa girl yes girl <laughs> yes girl yes. i have literally like five or six of these yeah. everything that I, exists i bought yes. <laughs> me too i got it from right, right stuff because they had like a oh, bundle goodness. oh my god yo listen oh, yes oh my god let me see if i can find them. i mean that pay all pages are really good so good. So this is between the sheets, which is um, the best one. That's my favorite one. Between the sheets. There's also um, another good one, but it's not published officially. Called uh, Love Vibes. I haven't really read that. Okay, I haven't read that one. Oh, I want so much. Like I really, really love like the quietness of mm -hmm. like a lot of her art and the like Yuri ass plot and like adults just not really making good decisions sometimes right. you know it's, it gets frustrating but I love it it's so good oh it's so, so beautiful good. I just obsessed like I, obsessed so beautiful I like the how I like her like just the simplicity of it she doesn't mm -hmm. do I don't know. She does a lot with little. It's, yeah. It's how I would describe it. And a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love, I love her. I would also say, and this is probably one that a lot of people would, um, <clears throat> excuse me, would agree with, but um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to say Akiko Higashimura is a favorite of mine. Tokyo Tadadeba Girls. Also Princess so Jellyfish. Um, I do have Blank Canvas, um, but I haven't finished it yet. But that's her like auto buy. I haven't gotten that one yet. I'm yeah, it's that. I've read a couple of I've read, I think I have three volumes um, and it's really good. But I've been like kind of like holding off on getting caught up with that um but yeah she i mean she's great um oh one of my favorites um oh gosh kyoko okazaki i think is listen <laughs> yeah i'm like what do i I'm have so here excited that obsessed. Yes! yes i recently read that one so freaking uh, obsessed. like freaking that is it's so wild the art is I love Kyoko Okazaki yes, so much. It's the, the the messy characters, the the drawing, like her illustration style mm -hmm. itself is like very different. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Erica's in a way where it's like the yeah. line work is really similar and it's very simple. Right. Uh, but it's yeah, it's a messed up story about like a 
psychotic model oh getting gosh, all this she's... plastic surgery. Yes, and... like with oh. the momager who isn't. Oh. This is like a very messed up. Yes. And I like how growth. Like I feel like, um, I feel like as an artist, she tends to like her art style is almost grotesque, like oh in gosh. a way, like it's beautiful. Yeah and grotesque at the same time um just oh like yeah I'm i like so the glad stories are really messed up too like the characters yes. um i feel because i read pink i read the uh -huh. river's edge which isn't beneficially as you know it's a little scanny mm -hmm. scan mm -hmm. um yeah, those nobody is like a really nice person. <laughs> There's not a no lot of good people in it. Like and it was so refreshing because I was like, oh my God, like first off, the art is very different from what I typically see, but also like this is a very unlikable character. Yeah. Uh, like it felt like it was written for like women. Yes. Um, like it, I didn't see any male gays in no. like any gay a z e right um, yeah. I was like every time i say it i'm just like wait let me make sure people know um like in the writing it feels very like raw and mm -hmm. like written without like trying to conform to like mm -hmm. men right. reading it or like yeah just it's oh, it's, it's very so it is just very raw and real and just like oh my gosh and it takes i mean it definitely takes like themes that we deal with in real life but yeah. like takes it to like the extreme extreme where you're like oh my gosh like yeah. this is this is fucked up like <laughs> yeah and it's it's amazing like i love like just the fact that first of all this model she's like deranged um which i mean you i understand like i'm one of those people i'm like well i'm compassionate and i understand where she comes from where she's coming from because she was she had a horrible but oh my gosh just the way the things that she did is the things that she did to to her um uh what is her i guess makeup artist what was the other yeah girl? secretary i don't i forgot her name. basically her slate like that's what she did it was awful yeah. i was just like Oh girl, you're doing. <laughs> they all just did so much awful things, and I was like, it oh, was like... chaotic, it was toxic, and I was eating yes. it up. Me too. I was like, I want too. more. <laughs> yes. I yes. love it. <laughs> so okay, then since we talked about those, oh we need gosh. to let's hits. talk about more of um. Let's talk about more of your favorite Jose, because I'm sure you have more sitting over there. That you have like a couple more. Yeah. Oh, um, another big mangaka that I really mm. like is Miyoko Ano. Um, she's done oh, yes. Akron, um and Happy Mania. Um, yes. So, and I love okay. her art Happy Mania is so, one of my so, so much. Like, yes. the way she, oh my God, this part of the book broke uh, the way she draws eyes and hair mm -hmm. like incredible truly incredible just say um creator yes i'm so glad you mentioned love, her because i love her yes so much. happy mania is one of my absolute favorite series like it's so freaking like she i gets. have not read happy mania yet but i do it, have it it, it is so it. good please <laughs> Please, because like the main character is a freaking mess. Like I love her so. Like, oh my god, she, again, I love she's it. She's not yes. necessarily likable, but she is at the same time. Like I, I don't. I yeah. have a tendency to want to be friends with people like That's her like because Sakura. I love it. <laughs> like like she's like such a bitch, but also like I need to I'm read rooting it. for her. It's good, yes. okay. and they have a movie based off of it too. But. Oh. Um, I don't know how to get it. I just thought they made a movie. <laughs> okay, well, it's I I will have to read it because Happy Mania. And it's just not a it's not a series either. It's just oh, like it's a, just this oh that's just even this one better. Graph. Yeah, you'll finish you can finish it. Yes, I did. It was oh, it's so good. Like I love the art. Oh it's about gosh. um oh, the art. A, this is about a geisha in um the Edo period. Oh, nice. Nice. Or she, yeah, she works at a brothel, and it's mad. This this girl is is a hot mess. Like, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Fights going on. <laughs> like, it is like Real Housewives. More like maybe Bad Girls Club energy. Yes! It's more Bad Girls Club. Energy. That makes me think of. I don't understand. <laughs> don't understand. 
gosh. Wow. Um, that was okay. That's hilarious. So yes. Um, what else do you have? Let's see. The other another favorite. This is like I freaking love Perico na 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 blue. Not, okay. Listen, you probably wouldn't have because it is. This is very hard to find. I'm like okay. keeping her name alive in the in the West. Yeah. But if you're if you're French, you could get some of her books. Uh -huh. um, but she also she does a lot of Yuri, um, like Jose, and her art style is like really simplistic as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's so so beautiful. Um, but this is the only thing that's been translated in English, oh, okay. and I found it like there's like one website that mm -hmm. I randomly found it on. So I can, I can share that with you. Yeah, yeah. But sure. like, I really wish first. more of her work was um, translated in English. It's There's a lot translated in French. Okay. Uh, uh, like she's done this uh, comic oh called gosh. Strawberry Shortcake. I think she said something called Strawberry, is it her? Am I confusing her? It was made into a movie, mm. but I can't, I can't get it anywhere. Ugh. Get See, that's like, I, that's one thing I really, it is frustrating. I, I understand when it comes to like manga, especially here in the West, it does seem like the biggest fan base is the kids, you know, the young folks who mm -hmm. like to, you know, read their show, like read their show. It's fine. It's fine. Like I'm not judging. You know? Yeah, I'll read that shonen too. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I, yeah, you know, so but it just, man, like, I, I want more so much Jose. More. I want more. I am willing. The thing is, is like. I'll I be on like, my advisory board. Right. Listen. Like, come on. Survey me. Is, yes. <laughs> the thing is that most of us who really love Jose also have, we're willing to spend money. Oh, yeah. Like, we're willing to take the money. Like, it's just. Just take, just here, take my please, bank account. Please, like, there's it's, so much great, like, Jose that has not been translated mm -hmm. or, like, it's out of print. Um, yep. I don't want to, like, I feel bad for, like, reading scans, but that's literally, mm -hmm. like, the only way I could read certain Jose. And then I find if it's printed and then I buy it all up. Yeah. Um, but that's why, yeah, yeah. That's why but I the translations to... are, like... <laughs> trash but i'm just like thirsty yeah. i am harsh i need mm -hmm. more jose manga you know it's funny because you know like the the that conversation the scans conversation oh my gosh always, like and i have always been on the side for me personally i don't read them mm -hmm. but mainly because and i've said this before because people are always like well we all have and i'm like i didn't but only because i didn't know that they mm. existed <laughs> like because listen i was i was definitely watching anime illegally back in the day so if i had known <laughs> that i could also read manga i would have done it too like i'm not yeah to be like on this moral high ground but personally i don't because i never had to, i never did and then like by the time i found out about it i already had like a disposable income so there's no yeah need you're good me. other than sometimes i can see why people like there's I, so much i only want to <laughs> yeah like it's really just been the ones that have not been translated. Like there'll be some shoujo that I would start reading that had not been translated um, that now have. And so I bought it up yeah. like daytime shooting mm -hmm. star. Mm -hmm. Listen, I yeah. live for that, uh, okay. for that series. Um, are you I, a fan? I love a love triangle. And mm -hmm. I don't really love the whole teacher situation, but that's, that's why shoujo I for you. That yeah. shoujo, then don't, don't. It's just they're okay. really it's it's literally like it's the worst. Like I love shojo, but so much of it is like, oh, this little girl and this grow man. But I'm like, yeah. oh, he's so hot though. It, um, it, like Cutie and the Beast. Literally, like I read the first was, one. I like it a lot, but then I at the ends when I find out this dude is old and she's in like high school. High school. Is, yeah. I was like, so what is this gonna be about? Like, it's like why did the same I'm thing supposed to? Yep. Like they're gonna be ru I'm ruined for this guy, like this right. grown man to be with this little girl. Like Takane and Hana was one that I had a friend of mine had like this is years ago. She's like, You should we will like, you should read this. It's really cute. I read the first volume and I was like, This is funny. And then I realized, 
oh, this is going to be a romance between the two of them. <sighs> okay. So I was like, well, you know, and I don't mind age gaps. And I've said that, but it needs to be a, between adults. Like, I I, yeah, I don't, no. I don't, like, why are you dating high school? Cool age. Um, I just, that's I, whatever. It's it really so, oh, I, I like ask. daytime shooting star was like my favorite teacher involved one. Oh, oh, <laughs> but oh. and then, like that's the only one I could tolerate. Um, right. but I don't know why. Yeah. I think because it doesn't get like I don't know. It, it's, like, he's it just really get... he's just really hot. It was oh, probably like, just that's probably what it was. Like, you know what? I, I'm gonna look at you. I want to think there's like a bigger reason, but it was just looking at a beautiful man. Okay. <laughs> I mean. Also, this is a judgment-free zone, <clears throat> so, yes, you know, course. I'm not judging you. Okay, have you read the series, um, I think, I, I say Supply, uh, but because when you mentioned um, series that, like, you know, are not, um, being, they're not finished for one, like, it's finished, I think, in Japanese, but it's oh. not, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I looked at So I have all of them. I have five volumes. Yeah, like, but I, I I'm only on volume four, so I don't know how like okay. how it ends. So I have one, Dang, three, really? and then like an omnibus for four and five. Um, so I have one through five, and I've read them all. And it, it technically okay. There, it, it. you can read it as an ending, in a way. Mm. But like, I want to say there's like nine volumes total. What? Um, so but much more. Of, isn't that Tokyo? Is it Tokyo Pop? Yes, it's so Yeah, Pop. So be, I mean, we all know what happened with them. Listen. Fucking <laughs> so Pop. So I'm pretty sure, but that's another, like, this type of style. Like, this is my shit. I love like, the style. I, These enormous eyes. Yes. And give they, me a long neck. Yes. Okay? Long yes. limbs. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I, I can't mention this because I also love clamp. Like they're oh style. yes yes and I just I love that like big ass eyes like, I look love like, it they look like fashion like draw you know what I mean super like, tall long like Paradise Kiss in Paradise yes. Kiss everybody's legs are like ninety percent of their body and I love it it doesn't make any sense and I think it's beautiful <laughs> I love it so much oh my god like that is like that style I just oh. it's uh. it's. It's perfect. It's perfection. Yes. I'm so glad you because that was like, I mean, there's a bunch of other folks, but like oh. that was another one that uh, another creator that I really, really like um, uh -huh. um, so much. And I read, although it's not out, um, yeah. Dan of it's called and it's like the ampersand okay. symbol um mm -hmm. that's like a scan new one which right. i hope they'll i don't even know like this is old yeah i don't even know if they're gonna do i i mean i would love to see it but probably not didn't she also write she's the same mangaka who wrote um oh gosh what else she do ha, like oh crap it's digital only and it's like Oh my gosh, that's, I'm, I'm gonna Google it. Um, okay. I love gonna, her art style so much. It's gonna upset me if I. Uh, she wrote. Her style is like really interesting too. Like the way she does backgrounds yes. and, and like layouts are like. Yes. Truly I, incredible. Oh, will I be single forever? Is what it's oh, called. Wow. And it's it's digital only. Um, right now, and it's a one shot. But oh my gosh, it's oh I want this. That's so like good. all her characters, <laughs> right? Forever. Yeah, like it's she does talk a lot. <laughs> <of them. laughs> it's like I that's what's plaguing you. I get it. <laughs> right? She's like really. She's like listen, marriage. She's like oh, we're gonna, like, relationships, and you know what? I eat it up. Like of course I'm gonna read it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like uh, I I would love to see more Jose. Now I will say that web comics tend to be oh. a great space to find more like stories geared toward um hmm. like grown women. Mm -hmm. Um but I would love but I, I, manga is my preferred, you know, like format, I think just because I'm it's what I'm used to. I'm old, so I'm just like this is what I like. Um, so I'd love to see more. And there's so much. I guarantee you there's so much like that, you know, is that they're getting in Japan that like 
I think that we would like, I think that there's an audience yeah. for it and yeah. there's just like, maybe they're just afraid to take a chance and I get it, you know, but come on, come on now, please call me uh, like, oh, one more I wanted to ask, yeah. said, which is newer is uh, <gasps> even though we're adults. Ooh, okay. I want to read that. Was it's so list. good. Yo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's on my list. Yeah, okay. I'm going to look into that because, you know, I have a, a podcast called like called the Yuri cast. Mm, right? mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell my co-host that um, he gets to buy another series that because yes. uh, <laughs> he's so irritated that I'm I like, really like it. Um, okay. Okay. It's grown women. Yeah. Grown women, <laughs> mm -hmm. grown gay women and issues. Like I it's really good. It. Like, I, I think they're in their 30s, it. which is always, like, That's even better. good to mention, too. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So, do I have any um, do I have any advice for a Fudanshi that wants to share their love of BL with friends instead of pretending to be all... Well, just, you know, this is going to... At the risk of sounding flippant, <laughs> um, it's going it, to... This is easier said than done. I'm not sure how old you are, but... As for me and my 35 year old self, I don't pretend. <laughs> I'm not pretend. I just, I say, just, just share it. But if you're afraid, if you're afraid that your friends will judge you because you like BL, maybe, maybe they're not. I mean, maybe you don't feel that safe with them and you might reevaluate. Yeah. <laughs> but just, I mean, just, you know, just say, hey, like, I like this series. And, you know, see what they say, but just like what you like, you know, like you don't have to pretend to be into all the popular series. There's also nothing wrong with enjoying popular series. Um, but I love BL. Um, not as much as I love Yuri, but I do <laughs> love BL. Same. No, because I mean, again, like we all like I, I have the bandwidth for two two three two men maybe like I don't, I don't want, like so i i would say just a jump in i'm not sure jamila if you're really into like bl or if, if you have any like <laughs> advice on that but i don't think so i've yeah. read some that i like mm -hmm. um but yeah i would say the same thing like mm -hmm. it's it's like it's unfortunate and it's doesn't feel good to feel uncomfortable about like what you like around people your friend. you're friends with. So I feel like it might end up being a bigger conversation or mm -hmm. um, yeah, like if you're afraid of them like making fun of you, then I feel like then that could lead to like other stuff that, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a, the bigger thing, but we want, we want you to feel like, comfortable yeah comfortable mm -hmm. um they shouldn't i yeah i'm 34 like mm -hmm. i think like maybe if i was younger and maybe other friends didn't read bl i'd be like i don't right. want to talk about it but now i'm like listen this is right. makes me happy i live for it and i know other people do like yeah. even if maybe your friend group does it like you'll find people online right of course <laughs> also i'm coming from a perspective of like when i started reading manga literally none of my friends knew what it was or cared and they, they like Same. they're like oh she re you know like I was the weirdo but they I didn't care like I wasn't like what what were they gonna do <laughs> where it's like y'all ain't paying my bills so what, <laughs> like what are y'all gonna do um ooh okay I do read a little bit more seinen than I thought I did because there are some series that I thought were Jose that turned out to be seinen <gasps> like like what? um one of my favorites is uh oh gosh oh gosh what is it hold on let me think the name is escaping me um um uh, oh complex age so complex oh, age that's a scene yes so and i thought it was a jose actually i have a video about it and i'm so embarrassed because i called it a jose and then i looked it up later and it's not um but I mean, complex age is i mean but it felt so jose is like it like the 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 main cast is all women and um, they're all like, I mean, I guess you could say it's kind of male gazy, but I don't think it feels like that. Mm. Um, but uh, complex age is 
amazing. Also, yes, it's finished in French. Okay. Listen, See, the French get all the good stuff. Do I need to speak? Do I? I'm going to have to learn French. The I guess. French get all the good stuff. It is upsetting. Uh, like, especially with blue, with Kyo, or with uh, <clears throat> uh, Kiro, Kyo, um, hmm. like, so many of her work is done in French. Literally, only one in English. Okay. And I found it by accident. So. I bought like this is how much I be standing. Like I bought this <laughs> Japanese version of Tokyo Girls Bravo. Oh, oh my Kyoko. gosh. Because the cover is so pretty, yes. right? Yes. Okay. I might have to do that too. Cause that's but beautiful. like it's so nice. And I was like, uh, I'll look at the pictures. See, ugh. So Sometimes much. I oh, think maybe I, I should learn Japanese, but like honestly, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm old at this point. And I have kids and I have others. I'm just like, do I, am I really going to dedicate the time? Right. Okay. Same. This as well, because oh, sweat and soap. Oh, I haven't um, read that. Okay. It's really cute. I've, I have the first, I think three volumes. Um, a lot of my other friends have continued on with it. Like I'm going to, I just tend to like, wait, I like to binge read, um, mm. but it's very cute, very healthy. Written, like great is written very well it is it is hetero um so that's but it's cute it's real cute um and it is written by a man and it's yeah so and vampire doll i have not i don't know have you read vampire doll no i don't i have not um but yeah okay so let me look in oh, oh no, tokyo no, no, no. tatarama girls yes is, i love is great oh, yes. um I want to reread it. I have uh, some of my friends who have read it. They're like, they were kind of triggered. They're like, it was too it, close to home. Yo, <laughs> hey, like there's some friends that I was talking to, friend, and they're like, it is hitting hard. They were like, I can't read. Like, like don't, don't read me. <laughs> like, I'm trying to read you. Yeah. Oh gosh, some pages, I'll be like, damn, girl, like you have to say it like that. Oh my God. <laughs> Whew, man. Listen, yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I, you know, the the way that I have been saying that I'm going to get back into Spanish and Korean for years at this point, <laughs> and I've not gotten back into either one of them, I need to stop lying to myself and telling myself that I'm going to learn any other languages. Because <laughs> I'm not. I mean, you are a little late because I think we're kind of <laughs> we're wrapping up a little bit slowly. I was, you know, but it's okay. You can all listen shiki you know you can always go back <laughs> yeah but no like you this is okay if anyone has any like any last questions or anything that you want to ask uh, jamila about like manga or her own works or whatever let us know we can like chat for about five more minutes you think yeah mm -hmm. um i i wanted to try to keep it relatively short so that way um, everyone can get back to their days. I really do appreciate you for for agreeing to do this. This is of like course. This has been so much fun. I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, I was nervous. I was too. I mean, I'm actually I'm sweating. Like, <laughs> but I'm good now. Like this, this has been this is so much an fun. Absolute blast. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay. Mood Cielago is one of my Faves. Ooh, uh, I haven't read that. Okay, so I haven't read it, Jujutsu Kaisen either. I haven't either. I haven't read or watched that one, but Mutsuya is Ooh, um, so good. It's about um, a murderer, <laughs> <laughs> a woman who is she is very gay and very murderous. Okay, um, I'm very in. deranged, and she I love it. Right, giving me helter skelter energy. Yeah. And the police <laughs> force, um, like the it's the Japanese police force they um basically let her out as long as she kills bad like these crazy bad oh, guys for them so it's always like a baddie of the day kind mm -hmm. of thing and then she's got this like this growing harem of like very hot like ladies oh um, I mean, my god I love right them. it's just it's so gory and Ooh. over the top and just wild and kuroko the main woman is my waifu i love her <laughs> her tongue the things that she can do with her like i i stand I need to start reading yes this. i it's one that i definitely am like please um 
but it is one that I have to, I, I am hesitant because it is a lot. It is a lot, but it's great. Ooh, this is a good question. Mm, um, I don't know if, so um, the question is about, is it better to have many or more Short shorter works work. or um, less and then less longer works? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think it depends on a couple of things. I don't know if there's, I think the answer depends on, is very personal. Like it depends mm -hmm. on what kind of writer you are um, and what kind of stories you want to tell. Like for me, a lot of the stories that I wanted to, like the first comics that I wanted to write were all short anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and so I wasn't even thinking like graphic novel length. Like I wasn't, like I always had just all these little stories that I wanted to tell. So mm -hmm. one shots, like that was just for me. Like if I were to have to like have done a graphic novel instead, like I don't know if I would have enjoyed if I would still enjoy the process, like I think I just like write what I am desiring to write at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and so far it's been shorter stuff, but it's easier to kind of get that out there. It's easier to get a fan base. It's easier to finish. Mm -hmm. um, so like, that's why it's like, okay, I got a couple out there now. Like, let me sit and focus on like a longer one. Yeah. Um, but if you have a really long graphic novel, I would say like, one thing that um, I would recommend is like, if you have this big epic story that you really want to tell, like instead of possibly starting from like issue one or volume one, like maybe create a one shot version of it um, mm -hmm. that could like, I feel like manga does this a lot too, where it's mm -hmm. like, you get the one shot and then it's like, oh, like, did you know we can make this into a series? Mm -hmm. Cool. Now that you like this, then I can start to work on that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So that's another way that can like, you can have one finished complete thing mm -hmm. without the guilt of like, oh, I gotta keep going, keep going and making more issues. So yeah. that's, so that's a really good question. Yeah, and that was a great answer. I mean, I'm not a writer, so, but just that was, that was a great answer. Great question <laughs> and great answer. Um, ooh. Ooh, this is deep. Yeah. What I tell young students about writing, um, it's been so interesting. Like my writing journey has been really interesting in that, like, I've always wanted to be a writer. And for so many years, I didn't have the confidence mm. to feel like I could do it. So I did all these things like kind of adjacent to it because I didn't like believe in myself mm -hmm. enough. And because I didn't believe like I didn't see a lot of the stories that I wanted to tell out there. So it was hard for me to kind of imagine myself creating stuff when I wasn't seeing anything similar in that way. So because of my experience with that, I would just really say like, um, like just as much as you can, like just push past any of the fear or anxieties that you have about like it not being good enough or people not liking it. Like mm. you'll have a, people, you'll find an audience. There'll be people who like your work as long as it's true to you uh, and the story you want to tell, like that's really what matters at the end of the day. Like if you're happy with it, um, everything else is just like bonus. Um, but yeah, like believe in yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't wait to start. For, don't wait for a sign either. Um, you know, just, like just if there's stuff you want to do, like don't, and also like um, don't look at the industry to see what you're allowed, what kind of stories you're allowed to tell. Mm, mm, because, because, oof, that'll limit you. <laughs> we ain't got a lot. <laughs> yeah, you'll be severely limited and you'll mm -hmm. feel really alone with like, as a creative, like, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, like, like my story's not important. So um, yeah, I would say really like trusting in yourself comes down to it. Yeah, I love that. That's what I would <laughs> like. That's what I would tell you know my kids or like that's a, that's a, that yes. Um, I learned the hard yeah. way or the longer way. Right, <laughs> but I'm here. Right. And you're here, and you're doing amazing. And I'm just like, ugh, I'm so gassed that <laughs> we got to do this. This is um, so much fun. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, I could talk about. We could have like a whole segment about Jose. Monster, Honestly. Like, like I might started. have to have you on again, like for real, for real, because this was so I'm much fun. I, like I love doing, like sit down and read your manga is like a thing, you know, that I mm -hmm. try to do. And sometimes, like doing it by myself, I'm just like, okay, 
I'm tired of myself. Like, <laughs> I'm sure that y'all, I'm sure people want to see other people. So it would be, <laughs> it would be super cool. I might hit you up and be like, Hey, hit me up. Do you want to talk? Like, let's, let's just I'll randomly just talk about, I don't know. We'll pick something that we're yeah. into. <laughs> that would be exciting. Yeah. Because so I would like now. to do that. I think that would be so much fun just to have like yes. different people on here. Um, something chill, you know, nothing like, you know, some people they get these ideas of like they want to do a, a podcast and it has to be so regimented. Oh, so and just formatted, like, yeah. And just like, I just want to. I want to be like. I want to vibe. have like a shoot the shit episode, like the yeah, <laughs> like the friend zone. How they like it's, it's oh, a yeah. shoot the shit episode. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, I love, so, it. <laughs> I love it. But okay, well, thank y'all so much uh, for showing up and being here, hanging out with us. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have all of Jamila's um, information in the description box. I promise I will have, <laughs> I'm going to do it. I keep repeating myself because I'm like, I'm committing it to my brain. Um, so where, like, do you want to, sh do you want to share your socials or? Are you oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to thankfully it's kind of easy. It's my name, Jamila Rouser. Mm -hmm on Instagram and Twitter and dot com is like my regular this mm -hmm. is me and then blackjessapress.com mm -hmm. Twitter and Instagram. Um that's the publishing yes. company. So yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yay oh, oh yes, please. yes please. Oh yay. Um, it's like makes and I do want to yes. <laughs> um well, okay. Oh my gosh. See, they have this thing where they like to distract me in <laughs> these in these live streams. Uh, but it didn't work <laughs> this time. But yeah, um, oh, this was such a blast. And Yay. again, I'm gonna Thank repeat you. that I will have the information in the description box tonight um so but thank you so much jamila thank for you. coming thank through you. thank you for giving me the opportunity to read you know oh takisha and to be able to talk about it thanks for coming on to the channel so this has been so much this fun so amazing um, you are yeah. so kind thank oh, you no. so much okay now awesome. i'm like Ugh, okay we're not making me blush we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> Y'all have a great Saturday. Enjoy your night. And, Thanks, everybody, um, for coming. Yeah. Bye. Sit down and read bye your bye. manga. <laughs> <laughs>